I've got a hot topic for you girls today. It is not Australia's weather, which is 40 degrees Celsius, by the way. It's awesome. So good. I'm doing it for you girls. What is the hot topic? Who can guess? Ugh. Yeah. We are talking bloat city. Bloat, bloat city. Bloating. Because this is just in my experience, I wanted to do a little bit of research for you girls as well. So I've got the reasons why we bloat, as well as my top three on how I've overcome bloating in the past. First, you know what's first? Lemon water. No. <laughs> well, actually, because you guys thought what well, might have been first, we might as well get there too. I need you to like this video and subscribe to my channel in order for me to keep bringing you how-to tips. Hope you're living fit with me. I am Leash. I wanted to bring you the reasons why we bloat. I did a little bit of research. Yep, I got my nerd glasses on. I think it's important to understand and not just tell you how to fix it. First, I'm gonna take these off because <laughs> I really don't need them. So three reasons why we bloat. Rich foods and overeating. Your body is used to a certain level of sodium intake, a certain level of fiber intake, a certain level of water intake. If you're not consistent with all of these things, you will find that your body responds differently. I have experienced severe bloating in the past and it's come from dieting down for competitions and then going out and eating an excessive meal, high in salt, high in fiber, high in carbohydrates. My body just wasn't ready for that or used to this. I was so bloated and if I have a photo, I'm gonna put it up, no shame. <laughs> Go and get body scans, like cat scans, to make sure that everything was going through my system without any blockages that weren't caused by food. It's embarrassing to say that the results came back constipation. It is what it is. I ate too much. I own that. It was the most uncomfortable experience of my life. Other reasons in which we bloat. So inconsistencies with our diet. Make sure that you're hitting your fiber targets. Generally 14 grams of fiber to every thousand calories that you are eating. So around 21 grams of fiber is what you want. Another experience that I had. In my time of overeating, I thought, oh my God, I've just got to cut back, got to up my fiber. I was having two tablespoons of Metamucil a day. Now I'm going to look it up and see what it is, but it would have been like at least 40 grams of fiber. And that is like double the recommended dosage of fiber in your daily intake. It can either be too high or too low. You need to find what's right for you. The thing is you're not drinking enough water. You're not having enough salt. You really want to think about consistency. The third thing why we bloat, your hormones and just being constipated and freaking gassy in general. I know we don't want to talk about that because it's kind of gross and stuff. I'm sorry, I just need to talk about this with you. I'm gonna be real. It's a thing. Sometimes, it's that time in the month, sometimes you just need to go to the bathroom and just sit there for a while. Who's had their mom tell them that? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it just comes down to your body functioning correctly. What are my top three? One, number one, cut the crap. I'm not joking. You need to seriously think about what it is that you're putting into your body. If your body is ingesting a lot of rich foods, high sodium foods, junk in general, I'm not just talking about high calories, I'm talking about low calories as well. Sweeteners, diet fizzy drinks and soda waters, all those things that help you get through your prep, like chewing gum, these contribute to being really bloated. If you take these out, you will notice a change almost immediately. You're no longer chewing and then getting all the gas pent up in your system and then bloating and becoming this huge mess that you can't move and fit into your clothes. You just don't want to do it. That is my number one. Number two is to regulate your diet. Regulating your diet will help cut the things and the foods that you might be finding are contributing to your bloat. Other ways to regulate your diet can include doing an apple cider vinegar shot in the morning or having lemon water. Other things you can do is chewing and eating your food slowly. It will just ensure that your body is producing saliva, which will help digest your foods. So by regulating your diet, you'll know what it is your foods that you're having that might trigger bloating. For me, I found that broccoli, unfortunately, has this bacteria in it, which doesn't sit well in my stomach. And make sure you're drinking three liters of water a day, keeping to your fiber targets, and not over or under consuming in salt. Third and final thing is so awesome. I put it in hot water and it's amazing. This will straight away have an impact on your digestion and I love it. I love, 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 love it. 
it is peppermint essential oils it's something that my mom gave me to try honestly last thing before bed with hot water i woke up and i was just like oh my god i'm feeling great if you do have peppermint essential oils get your hands on some of this it will help with immediate relief they're my top three on how to reduce bloating and i actually hope that you guys don't have to suffer from the effects of bloat for very long it's not pleasant thank you girls again before I go, I really want to challenge you guys to share an experience with bloating and how you've overcome it. So please put in the comment section below any little tips and tricks like you've got if you've got like peppermint essential oils or something that you've found that's bloated you in the past. We're a community. Let's share it together. Let's really overcome this issue and become the best versions of ourselves because that's what we're here for. But yeah, I really am experiencing this right now because it's Sunday. It's post cheat day. Stop eating this stuff. We need to stop this because it's not helping us, is it? Let's stick to Whole Foods. Let's do a Whole Foods challenge, like two weeks. Anybody? Comment below. But apart from that, I'm out because I need coffee. I need coffee, girl. I hope you're still watching. I'm ridiculous. <laughs> See ya. I love you, bye. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up.